Hey, what is up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be replacing the spark plugs and coil packs in my car. And first off, I have to give a huge thank you to my friends at FCP Euro for hooking me up with the parts for today's video. Now, if you're following along with me, this process should be pretty similar for just about any BMW from this generation. Although the parts may be a little bit different, so just go on FCP Euro's website and find your car from their drop down menu, and let's get right into it. Start by removing the cabin air filter, which is held on by six eight millimeter screws. Remove these two small plastic covers. Pull straight back on this piece to release it. There are three more clips behind it that need to be detached. There's an 8mm screw on either side. Lift the cover up and set it aside. On my 2006 330XI, the plastic engine cover just snaps on and can be released without removing any of the screws on top, but this may vary between model years. As you pull up on the clip on the coil pack, it will release itself from the harness. If the coil pack is stuck, you can use a socket extension to twist and lift it out. Just be careful because the clip is only made out of plastic. The spark plugs that I'm installing are technically 16 millimeters, but you're gonna have a hard time finding an actual designated spark plug socket like this that has 16 millimeters printed on them. Most of them say 5 eighths of an inch, at least here in the US, and it's approximately the same size. You're gonna be able to fit that in there um, perfectly without stripping them or anything like that. So uh, with that and your 12 inch extension, let's go ahead and remove the old plug. With only 75,000 miles on my car, the spark plugs come out effortlessly. Alright, so here's the old plug that we just pulled out of the engine and I should say it's really helpful to have one of these magnetic spark plug sockets like this so that as you pull it out, uh, the magnet will just stick right to the plug and you can pull it right out of the engine very easily. Here's a close up of the old plug compared to a new one. These NGK plugs come pre-gapped and there's no need to put any type of um, lubrication on the thread here. You can literally just put this right into the car. Start the new spark plug by hand so you don't accidentally cross-thread it. Then use a torque wrench to torque the plug to the correct spec for your exact model and engine, which should be 18 pound-feet for the N52. A torque wrench will prevent you from over-tightening and potentially damaging the spark plug thread. Once the spark plug is in, install the new coil pack by inserting the tip and pushing it in until it won't go any further. Insert the harness and push down on the clip to lock it in place. Repeat this process for all six spark plugs and coil packs. The last two were a tight fit, but I was able to remove both of them with my 12 inch extension without needing to remove the strut tower brace. Before you reinstall all of the plastic covers, just start the engine and confirm everything works. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and thanks once again to FCP Euro for sending me these parts for the video today. All of their information will be linked down below. Now the cool thing about them is all of their parts are backed by a lifetime guarantee so if you have any issues with the spark plugs or coil packs, um, coil packs do tend to fail kind of randomly. I had one go bad when the car only had 40,000 miles on it. So it's really cool that all of their parts come with that guarantee so if you have any problems you just send the parts back to them and they'll send you a brand new replacement. So uh, that's one of the reasons that I was so excited to work with them on this project. So again, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I've got a whole playlist of videos for your BMW for maintenance and DIYs just like this video. So um, thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one.